has over three times resources as that tender right there. We pull up with 320 gallons of water, we put out 10,000 gallons of finished foam. We're really fast, we can get there really quick. A lot of departments are using us for initial attack, fast attack stuff, because when you're waiting for your big rig to show up, you're gonna get there about, you know, in rural Colorado, in the west, you know, we're gonna get there a lot faster than your tenders and your engine stuff. So again, we've got 10,000 gallons of finished foam on that. Um, some of the key things about compressed air foam is gallon per gallon, it puts out a lot more fire than water. Um, you don't get the steam aspect. Wherever you paint it, you can see it. You know, if you're doing a wall or something, when you hit it, it's gonna stick to it, and you're gonna see where you have it. You don't have to redo it there. So you're not to sit there and waste water, you'll go to the same spot. It doesn't run off, it's gonna stick to it. It's gonna cool the fire, it's gonna smother the fire, and it's gonna put the fire out probably about 300, 300 times faster, 300% faster than water. It's gonna put out real quick. Um, a charge line for compressed air foam is the same thing as empty hose. There's no weight to it. So you've got a 100 foot stick here. The littlest guy here can grab that thing and run up a hill with it. It's an empty hose. If you can run up it with an empty, you can run up it with a charge. It doesn't weigh anything at all. Um, so that's some of the key things about it. Um, we've got three other things over there. We like this backpack here. We use this in wildland. We're contract firefighters. I'm a retired battalion chief out of Boulder. And I was a hill attack and a jumper for years out of Macaw and it's different helicopter operations. But we use it for, for burning operations. Justin and I, for instance, we're gonna show you in a little bit. Justin and I were working on a fire January 8th in Boulder. And it was a wind-driven fire driven by 100, mile, 100 miles per hour winds. So it was scary, crazy bad. It was ridiculous. And um, at one point we had, a, we had a slope. It was a 30 degree slope. And we had some black up here, and we had a road down here, quarter mile away. Fire was coming out of the north to the south. This is about two o'clock in the morning, and we said, if we can, if we can do a burning operation right here, if we can burn it out. We have a chance. Well, there's no way a tender could make it up there. You know, we were way up on this nothing, you know, roads. A tender couldn't have made it up there. There are no hand crews available. Everybody was committed, and nobody wanted to sit there and put 30 sticks together to try to put a wet line in. So we had nothing. So Justin and I took these backpacks. That backpack holds five gallons of water, eight ounces of class A. Puts out 350 gallons of foam on that one backpack. So what we did is we took a fan spray nozzle, and we can do this, we're gonna show you up here. And I walked ahead down the slope at a walking pace, just a normal walking pace like this, putting in a wet line about that wide, and Justin was two steps behind me, torching it off. He and I did the whole operation, quarter mile, we did it 15 minutes. Our fire ran, had enough time to go about 30 yards before the flame front hit. Remember, driven by 100, 100 mile per hour winds. Before it hit, they canceled out, it was done, right then and there. So we were real proud of that. We did it with two backpacks. No tender, no hand crew, not 10 guys in the mountain, we just, we just got it done. Um, Justin and I, we go off in like San Diego, we're going around houses, trying to save houses. We can go around the house and burn out. I can walk around a typical big house with that in about two minutes. Just walk out, and he'll just come around and burn it out after me. Go out and the house is there. The house is great. So usually what we do is you'd have a squad of guys up there, or you'd have a bunch of engines out there, and they'd be cutting and running and trying to drag holes around, and they couldn't get it to this side or that side. So we can just, like, we'll take this line, and he'll back it up between two, between two houses, and we can take four or three houses and just walk it right down there. Just, just walk the fire right on down away from everything. Um, so they're using this over in Australia where they just lost some cities on how to just go ahead and burn away from a town instead of wasting your resources to go out and put, you know, you know, work in the flames. Let's go ahead and protect the homes, you know, the towns first, protect the infrastructure. So we can take the whole side of a town, again, 10,000 gallons full. So with the monitor here, on the front of this truck, we'll demo that later, we'll just go and set the monitor out and we just put down you know, a six foot wide wet line 